that's what we're dealing with in here. We're not too keen about. Oh yeah. And that's sand in there. Welcome back to another episode of Flexfield Race. Today we're going to clean, tear down and refresh the engine. Alright, so we're just going to get the engine on the stand. We've got a new engine stand, shout out to my mate Hamish. Um, saw it in the video a couple weeks ago that the other one was a bit dodgy, so. So yeah, cheers Hamish, thanks for watching the videos and thanks for the stand. This one doesn't look like it's going to fall apart, so it's good. Gives us a little more confidence. Yeah, so uh, let's get into it. Yeah. I mean, below us, you reckon the 1UZ is going to absolutely destroy this W57 5, W55 box. How long do you reckon it's going to last? Let us know in the comments. I reckon, I reckon two skids. I reckon if I'm gentle, it'll last forever. So maybe like a week or two. <laughs> So we're just going to give the engine a degrease before we start tearing it apart because it's absolutely filthy and you know, Jack likes to keep his hands clean. So yeah, going to bottom it with the greaser and give it a good water blast and show you a bit of a transformation before and after and then we can start tearing it down. Alright, as you can see I've had a outfit change as I got a little bit wet doing the water blasting. Good oh, thing I had a spare change of clothes. Didn't think you were that excited about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to start ripping it apart. Do the old tear down, try and label everything so we remember where all the nuts and bolts go, but see how we go. Yeah, don't have too much longer to film for the day, so hopefully we can get enough done so that we can get a video up for you. Oh, I need to keep this close by. So I can also start pulling the wiring loom off as we go uh, and then I can hopefully start wiring next week which would be good. I like to just get that done and out of the way because it's kind of stressing me out and just focus on everything else we got to do but we'll just do one thing at a time and get there eventually. The One UZ's intake manifold is made up of two halves. To access the fuel rails, wiring loom and the lower manifold bolts, the top half has to come off first. This bolt, shout out 
to Luke. With that out of the way, we quickly find out that every connector on this wiring loom is so brittle that they fall apart as soon as we touch them. But that's future Jack's problem, so we remove the fuel rail and carry on. So that's what we're dealing with in here. Very gungy. There's a bit of rust on the valves. So this has had water sitting in it, which we're not too keen about. Hopefully it's not sitting in the cylinders. Yeah, if it is, we'll just give it a few red lines and hopefully she'll be alright. So Sam's going to hit it with a vacuum. So we just took the intake gas head off and that's sand in there. So this was sitting under a tree at the beach. Or it was someone's off-road pig mm. and it's been thrashed, but it's gonna get more thrashing. <laughs> Hopefully you can handle it, we'll find out. Might be doing a cheeky rebuild in the near future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. First fire up, gone wrong. Yeah. How to rebuild a one UZ. <laughs> You're not gonna like me. Yeah. Do you have a magnet? valve covers off now. We're really curious to see what's going on in there. Yeah, after seeing that valve. Oh yeah. I don't really want to touch it because my hands are dirty as crap, but those all look quite nice. A little bit of crap on them, but they just probably dropped out of the valve cover or something. So, that's the one. That's a lot better than the valve looked. So this looks like it has probably had a good fair few oil changes in its life, which we like to see. Um, so hopefully all is not lost. The other side looks the same, which is good. I love that smell. What burned oil? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. On that note. On that note, not a crazy amount of progress this week. Sorry for that, but there was still a lot done. It just doesn't really look like it because the engine's not running yet. Yeah. What are we doing next week, Sam? Paint the rock covers, regasket, everything. Get the belt off. Get the belt off, and then maybe we might be able to get one on the same day, which oh, would be yeah. ideal. It's true. So, camera died, sorry about that. Onto the phone now, because end of the day, can't wait for the battery to charge. Um, yeah, so as, as I was saying, the, now that the engine's out, there's, um, we can do more things at once. So, you know, Jack can go start on the loom soon, hopefully. He's just got to get a couple more things. I can start welding the front on, sanding the bay, stripping the bay, yeah. and yeah, getting it all prepped. And then yeah. Put the loom back on, sack it back in the car, start her up, go for a skid. Sounds good to me. Sounds like a plan, I reckon. So yeah, next week, expect more of the shenanigans, um, making more progress, stuff's happening. We're getting closer, we're getting quite excited. Stay tuned, thanks for watching, like and subscribe and all that stuff. Let us know if there's anything else you'd like to see or anything we can do to make your viewing experience better. We'd love to hear it. Any 
criticism or feedback is much appreciated and encouraged. But yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers. I don't really put much soul in it. It's like I don't think, I don't think that I'm with it. I'm